I've got to find Who's now the number one And why my angel eyes ain't here Excuse me while I disappear. Hey folks, uh, got the song Angel Eyes here in front of me on the uh, in the real book and uh, Jazz Piano College here, Tony Winston, singing a little song for you today. And uh, it got it in the key of C, but I do it in the key of D minor. So we got C minor. Yeah, that, that B flat's just like a bass note. Yeah, so you just put that in if you want. And see that little symbol there means do the same thing. Chord wise. If you're accompanying yourself, you try to avoid the melody. And let's see, a nice, you know, kind of like the song, uh, This Masquerade, if you just do a half step here, B to E, and that kind of puts you right on the B flat, you see? Because that's a common tone. diminished but with the F makes it an F7 you know and it's like a two five one six you know so you could go C minor to F and that be flat I don't know about that D flat chord never did it that way I'd just like to go straight here See, you've got another common tone there. And this is kind of a hard change. But if you think about it, if you're in G major, a substitute is, and this is not a tritone substitution, but a tritone away on the flat minor 7 flat 5 chord is kind of a substitute for G major. You know, if you're doing like a, is a substitute. So just go to that one. And then here, I think the flat, the, the flat five is good on this chord for sure. Okay, now let's talk about uh, improvising on this song. And I'll, I'll do it in the key of C minor here. So it definitely has the feeling of the blues. There's no doubt about it. So you might as well use that, especially when you go to that note. And notice how the blues scale fits perfectly on A flat seventh, with the exception of the G. But you could kind of do, you know, just get over it quickly and still use the G if you like. like an F minor melodic ascending like that and then huh, you know a blue scale <laughs> you could use a different scale like let's see C harmonic minor works pretty well over that G minor. You know, I'm trying not to use the altered scale because it's a kind of a complicated one. But it's not that hard. You know, just practice it going up and down and do it like this. And then think about it. Uh, you know, 
bunch of triads in there. So, you know, uh, yeah, if it's, if it's not something you're quite ready for, just don't worry about it. Use blues scale. I don't see this in the chart, but usually on that second one, right before you go. That's a kind of a more typical way, I think, of doing it. All right, let's repeat that just with some comping chords. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Comping. You know, you don't have to avoid roots. You really don't. The piano sounds good when you put the roots in there. You know, if your bass player's got a problem with it, especially on a ballad, find a new bass player. You know, I try to just vary my chords between open voicings and rootless voicings and smaller chords and then bigger chords. And another really nice thing that I don't do too much of is, you know, kind of put in what they call tenor lines. You know, this is kind of the stuff like in a big band, the trombones or the lower saxophones would play. Let me see if I can find something like that. So, uh, you know, the melody's going... Let's see, you know, something like uh, you know, a line like that, perhaps, or um, uh, 
you know, if you're, you know, comping uh, to a soloist or especially to a singer, if you're doing it to a singer, you know where the lyric is going to be, more or less, in time. So you put stuff around it. Like, try to think that love's not around. Still it's uncomfortably near. easy to just kind of fill in around the vocalist and then you know while they're actually singing to have some of those tenor lines going along like this as long as it doesn't get right near their note or get right on their note or something like that I mean it can be right on their note but you know like if they're singing this note and you're hitting this note you know try to think and you're hitting that chord it won't work very well because they're trying to hit this note think and they hear they keep hearing this one and uh, you know so it'd be better to just do it like this try to think that love's not around round you know when they're singing that note you could play that one it's it's at least it's a whole step away and above them too but a half step right underneath uh, probably best to avoid um, but you know it can have a nice effect too sometimes especially on like a major seventh chord if they're like singing the root ah, ah, and you're putting that B underneath I mean you know it depends on you know the experience level of the vocalist and uh, you know how sensitive you might be to their their needs okay I um, hope you enjoyed this video that's it Try to think that love's not around Still it's uncomfortably near My old heart ain't gaining any ground Because my angel eyes ain't here Angel eyes that old devil sent They glow unbearably bright Need I say that my love's misspent Misspent on angel eyes tonight So drink up, all of you people. Order anything that you see. Have fun, you happy people. The drink and the laugh was on me. Pardon me, but I've got to run. The facts uncommonly clear. Got to find who's now number one and why my angel eyes ain't here. Peace.
Peace. 